Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and I'm with Pure Resonance Audio and today we're going to be discussing how to wire a speaker that has a Euroblock connector. So today we have the C3. Um, on the back, you'll see this little green thing. What is that? That's a Euroblock, or could be interchangeably called a Phoenix connector. It just depends, but um, either way, we're gonna be talking about how to wire your speakers whenever this is the type of connection that's on the speaker. So you'll see on the C3 that they're labeled very nicely. Um, it's a two pin on each side. So the input has a positive negative and the output has a positive negative, and these Phoenix connectors correlate to those. So when you're wiring, what you'll want to do is you'll want to take these out. Um, it'll be much easier to handle whenever you're um, putting the wires in there and securing them. Looking at it this way, you'll see where the wires go in. And on the bottom, there's these little tiny screws. And those are there to, to loosen or tighten the wires into. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to keep this upright like this. Because what you'll see is as you are unscrewing this, that opening, you'll see it start to open. You'll see that, that little thing inside opening up there for the speaker wire to go through. So you'll want to open these up nicely. You'll want to open them up pretty much as wide as they can go. That way you have enough room to work with. Um, and then this is where your speaker wires go into. And so I want to mention at this point, so on the Euroblock itself, they're labeled positive negative. So you want to make sure that you, you keep that consistent. So if this says that the left is positive and the right is negative, you want to keep that consistent. So your positive wire goes on the left, your negative goes on the right. And so I'm going to do that real quick. Hopefully I can do this in one take. So positive, negative, I'm going to put those in there. You can kind of, kind of hold them like this, however you can to secure it. And then you're just going to tighten these down. You want to make sure that they're snug, but you don't want to over tighten. It's important that they're not over tightened, but just snug. So if you feel it stop, just kind of give it a little, little tug there. Do it on the other one. Nice and snug, not too tight. And then just kind of do a little test, kind of pull them. If they fall out, that probably means it's not tight enough. If they're nice and secure when you do this, then it's probably tight enough. So then at this point, you'll go into your speaker. I would double check at this point, positive negative aligns with positive negative. And then whenever you go from your output, you're gonna do the same thing. So pretty simple. Um, this is a Euroblock connector. I wanna point out that there are different types of connectors depending on the speaker. For our Pure Resonance Audio line, um, you might find a speak-on connector, which is found on our P110, um, or you might find just a screw terminal um, that's found on our S10 10-inch stadium speakers. So just to point out that this isn't gonna be consistent throughout. Also on the Euroblock, failed to mention that it's not always gonna be positive negative just like that. Some of our speakers have the positive negative um, on a four pin in the middle and then a positive negative on the outside. So you just wanna make sure you're attentive to that, making sure that you understand where those positive negative connections are. That way as you wire your system, you can keep it consistent and everything sounds great whenever you're done. That's all we have for you today. If you have any questions about wiring once you get going, if you have a system and you're gonna install it yourself, um, let us know how we can help. We wanna make sure it's done right the first time, save you a lot of heartache, so give us a call and we'll be happy to help. Until next time, thanks for joining us.